All right, so now we can finally start thinking about writing that taco delivery script. So here are the general steps that we'll need the script to do. We need the drone to arm and take off into the air, go to the GPS waypoint of that very hungry taco eater. Then we're going to precision land on the Aruko array at this GPS waypoint. Then we have to drop off that taco, and then we're back in the air. Arm and take off. Then we're going to fly back to our home waypoint, and then another precision landing on our Aruko array. Now we're going to first test all of these steps in Gazebo, so let's go ahead and hop on our virtual machine so that we can see what world we're going to be coding for. All right, let's pull up a terminal and let's type ROS launch gazebo ROS iris world launch. And then here is where we're going to pass the name of the world. Type world name colon equals and then taco delivery dot world. All right, that is the name of the world that should come in that ArduPilot gazebo repo that we're going to be coding for. And here we are. You know, this home location should look pretty familiar. We have our Aruko array here. But what's going on over here? Oh my god, we have a taco party over here, right? We have this giant taco. We have, looks like, five beers here. Have a little dining table to eat our virtual taco on. And of course, in the taco drop zone, we have these um, Arukos. This is the Aruko array of 129 and 72 that we've already coded in a previous video. So the drone is just going to fly up into the air, fly to this GPS coordinate, precision land on those targets, fly back into the air, fly home, and then precision land on these Aruko targets. The first thing we want to do is capture our home latitude and longitude coordinates of the drone before it's even in the air. And we can do that by calling the vehicle.location global relative frame object with lat and long. So we have captured those coordinates. And now we're going to make a waypoint object that we can fly to. We'll say waypoint home is equal to location global relative. And we'll pass in the latitude of our home point, the longitude of our home point, And let's just input the takeoff height for our altitude. And again, this will allow us to fly to this waypoint when we need to. And let's make another waypoint called WP Taco. And this is going to be the coordinates of the double Aruko array where we need to deliver that taco to. Now we can arm and take off the drone and fly into the air. We're going to fly to our takeoff height, then we're going to sleep. Now we're going to fly to that taco waypoint, WP taco. And we're using that go to function that we just created. So now the drone is in the air and flying towards its waypoint. And then once it gets that waypoint, it will allow that lander function to execute. And we already know what the lander function does. It'll do the precision landing for the double Aruko array. And that'll run until the drone is on the ground and not armed. Then once we're on the ground, let's just type a message to the console. Let's say arrived at the taco destination, dropping tacos and heading home. And then we have to say, you know, enjoy the taco. Now let's type time.sleep and then the time to sleep. This is what we set to five seconds up above at the beginning of the script. So that means the drone will be on the ground at the taco destination and sleep for five seconds. And then after that, let's take off the drone again. Let's say arm and take off, take off height. Then let's type go to, and now we're going to fly to that home waypoint that we launched from. And then once we've made it to that waypoint, it'll allow the lander function to run, which will do our double Aruko array precision landing. And let's just print out to the console, made it home for another delivery. All right, then once we have that script written, let's do what we've done many times before. Let's go to course root catkin workspace, and then type catkin make to initialize those changes. And then let's last but not least make that script that we just wrote executable. So we'll provide the path to source gazebo drone and then scripts and then put an asterisk there. And now that script that we just wrote is executable. Now let's actually run this script and see if it works. All right, now let's run that taco delivery script. 
let's pull up a terminal and let's boot up gazebo like we've done many times let's type ross launch gazebo ross iris world dot launch and then the name of that taco delivery world that we checked out it is taco underscore delivery dot world and then we'll hit enter there that'll boot up gazebo so now let's pull up another terminal and let's start up the arducopter firmware it's in course root apm arducopilot arducopter and let's boot up sim vehicle like we've done many times let's boot up rqt so that we can see the camera feed and now let's pull up another terminal and we'll resize it so that we can see everything at once and let's actually start that taco delivery script that we just created so we'll type ross run the name of our package gazebo drone and then taco delivery dot pi all right so this will start up that script and the first step is to arm and take off the drone into the air so here we're going to a target altitude of I think nine meters then the drone is going to fly to that taco waypoint that we configured in our taco delivery script the drone is going to get close enough to the waypoint and then reach target waypoint now we're going to start that precision landing script that is first tracking a 129 here and we can see the camera feed here in this RQT session now again we're tracking Aruko 129 and then we're going to switch over to tracking Aruko 72 there it goes it switched over now and it drew the axis markers on the uh, Aruko marker that we're tracking okay so we're almost on the ground almost there and we're about a, just a few centimeters off and the drone is now going to exit that lander function we've arrived at the taco destination we're going to drop that taco off so that that delicious taco that virtual taco can be eaten and now we're going to take back into the air at that target altitude and we're going to fly back to our waypoint an interesting thing you'll see the drone here do a little yaw that's because the it always faces the front of the drone towards the direction that it's flying in guided mode now we've reached our home waypoint and we're doing another precision landing on our Aruko array here at our home destination so again we're tracking 129 we're up at about seven meters right now and you know this drone's really busy today he has a lot of virtual tacos to deliver so we got to get him back here home safely and soundly because those tacos are good now we've switched to tracking Aruko 72 and the drone has almost landed and then we'll wait for those props to stop spinning and then once they do that lander function will exit so they stop spinning and it exited and perfect made it home for another delivery so that's it we just completed our virtual taco delivery and this same sort of mission is now what we're going to be doing out in the real world only now we're actually going to be delivering something